Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and welcome to I Am Loved Church. In the beginning, God, one, created the heavens and the earth. In six days, and on the seventh day, God rested, meaning he looked at what he made because God doesn't run out of strength. Then he decided to make all the animals. And then he decided to make you and me. And then he said to man, take care of the world. Okay, but don't touch that fruit on that tree. However, we were curious and we did touch that fruit. And he said, if you touch that fruit, you will die. Well, we did it anyways. Now, here we are in today's society. And wow, how I wish that fruit was not touched. Now, what does that mean? When they partook of that fruit, they basically said, I don't need you, God. I'm going to redefine right and wrong for myself. I'm going to feed myself and clothe myself. I am going to become my own provider. But God says, you are walking into hell if you think that you can survive without me. Now look around the world. Can't we see a big problem? Isn't there's just something wrong with us. When man decided to eat that fruit, he also disconnected himself from love because God is love. He emanates love. Everything is love and unconditional. He didn't create us expecting anything and he still doesn't expect anything from us. But he created us because he unconditionally loves us being that he gives us free will to choose to do what's right or to do what's wrong. And he says to us, if you do what's right, if you live humbly and obey my commands and believe in the one I sent, you will live a prosperous life. The story of Cain and Abel. But if you do what's wrong, your life will fall apart and you will be in hell. God so loved you that he sent himself in the likeness of a man to die on a cross to redeem your life. The fact that you remember all those bad things and the fact that you have insecurities, it means that you're living outside of God's covenant. You're living in sin. You've done a lot of wrong and you have not forgiven people and you have not forgiven yourself because there's only one person who can forgive you. You can clothe yourself with the finest clothing, jewelry, houses, and cars. But God says, you think that you can run away from your sin, but I remember them. And if I remember them, you will always remember them. And that's what it means when Mary Magdalene fell to Jesus' knees. She says, all these accusers of mine. And Jesus says, I forgive you. And then she looked around and didn't see anyone accusing her. You feel like people are judging you in your life? One of the greatest fears is what people think about them. But he says to Adam, who told you you were naked? And Adam said, he rebelled and he um, reasoned it. He tried to reason it. And Jesus said this, the fact that you try to reason your sin means that you still have sin in your life. It's your conscience that bears witness. And this is how I justify that this is the true God. You feel guilty, right? When you do bad. Well, we, most of us should, unless you're that far in sin. You feel jealousy. You feel anger. All these things God feels too when we do bad. But he sent his only son to not sin, 
Jesus did not sin, but he was tempted with sinning. He felt all the things that we felt, but he was a perfect. So he was a perfect sacrifice for us to atone for sin, to forgive our sin. Before the old covenant, they had to sacrifice animals. But Jesus was the perfect sacrifice because he was made in our image. And he says, anyone who comes to me, I'll not only forgive their sin and cast it as far as the east is from the west. I will give them a new life, a life that I had purposely designed them for. You have no purpose in your life because you do not know the one true God. And unless you surrender your life, surrender your free will and say, I am no longer going to be my own provider and pretend that I know everything. I'm going to humble myself and not live in pride, which is the greatest sin. And that's how Satan fell. And that's how we fall every day. I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to want to be taught like a child in the eyes of my creator. Our God has wonderful things for you. You didn't wake up and you weren't created by accident. You're not anything that this world tells you you are. You are who he tells you you are, but you have a choice of whom you're going to believe. We all worship something, but Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No one finds peace except through me. No one finds love except through me. No one finds acceptance except through me. Any and everything that you're really looking for, that the world tells you if you have these things, you will never ever feel satisfied unless you start looking and following Jesus Christ. This is the gospel message that God so loved you that he forgave you and he wants to give you a new life and live with you in eternity of unconditional love. Because man is very conditional. People are very conditional, but God, he's unconditional. That's all I wanted to tell you. I want you to know the same savior, the same love, the same goodness that I know. And no longer that I complain about my life, but I'm very grateful and I'm like, wow, God is good. And he's the only one who's good. I'm not good. You're not good. Nobody's good. Nobody's perfect. But God and Jesus is good. God bless.